Hi, this is Nick Pell from Disciples of Metal, and today I'm going to teach you how to play Duel to the Death. All right, so Duel to the Death. What do we have here? We have a song in the key of D, and it starts off with this killer, infamous D open power chord. So how do you play that? Well... Open D string, then you have your first finger on the second fret of the G, and then you have your third, your second finger on the third fret of the B, and you play it like this. To give it a little bit more thunder, you might want to add that open A, that open A uh, string as well. In fact, that's what we do. So if you really want it to sound right, all right, you do that. Then you're going to move up. Now the chords are all going to be on these strings for this intro. Um, you're going to move up to the third position. Obviously, you're not playing open now. So third position, you have your first finger on the D string, third fret. Then you have your third finger on the fifth fret of the G and your pinky on the sixth fret of the B. Then you're going to go up to the fifth position. Don't change your shape of your hand. You're just scooting up. Okay, and you repeat. So here's what we have so far. Go back. Same. Now you're going to be up here in the sixth position, and you're going to sh uh, scoot right down to the fifth position. Play it again. So all together. back up on the D. Okay, and then it does it again. Same thing. This time you're going to pick the, the strings, same chord, just so this, this chord. This time, this time you're going to go, the second time around you're going to play the third position. Okay, you're going to play this F chord. So let's play it all together. That's the intro riff. All right, moving on. All right, so for the verse riff, what do we have? We're going to be in the fifth position. We're going to play a riff that sort of moves up uh, chromatically. It's like a blues scale kind of thing. But we're playing, remember, the key of D, so you're not really doing that, but it's similar. You're in the same position. You're going to play the A string and the D string fifth fret, so it's kind of like double stop stuff here. The chords. And you're going to play the sixth fret A string, D string, and the seventh fret A string, D string. You're just going to use your first, second, and third finger. Then you're going to get up here to the D and G string. Same thing, two notes, okay? Fifth position. Seven, so you have. Okay, then it's going to take you to the chord where you play an open D string, fifth fret. You're going to play uh, with your first finger on the G string, and then the sixth fret on the B string. Okay, then you're going to do the same thing. You're going to move it down a half step. So this time you're on the fourth fret of the G string, uh, fifth fret of the B string. Another half step down. 
So you have. That's the theme. But in between, you have. You're going to be muting the, the open D string, and it's going to be this pattern. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. Okay, that's most of the riff right there. Now you're going to go back to the fifth fret. You're going to play the uh, D and B, uh, the D and G string. This chord that we did earlier, right? And your third finger, you're going to play A string, uh, seventh fret, D string, seventh fret. You're staying in this box shape, okay? Back to the fifth fret, uh, D and G string. Back to the seventh fret, D and G string. And that's the verse riff. Moving on. Here's an interesting thing. The next riff is finger picked. Okay? So you're going to be here. I use my first finger a lot for this. I mean, from the last riff we did, um, sort of is an anchor, it's sort of not anchor, but it sort of starts you out. So here you're playing, you're, you're picking with the pick, the A string, and you're using the middle finger here uh, on your picking hand to play the D string. Okay, you're in the sixth position. Moving to the fifth position. And then open, okay. Sixth, fifth, third, open. First finger, you're going to play uh, the first fret to the next part. And open again. Once again, so far everything's been on the A and D string. Okay, and you're using pick for the A, middle finger for the D. Now you're going down to the low E and the A string. Really powerful sounding. First fret. Then you're moving up to the third fret. Same. You're playing first fret of the low E and the A string. First finger. And you're playing third fret of the low E and A. So you have. Second time around, you're stopping there. And you're just going to mute that, these two strings, the A and the D. Let me play this for you. Can you do it again? This time you're on the low E and the A. So all together. So we come back to that intro theme right before the solo, but it's not quite the same. It's similar, but you just learned, right? Okay. However, for the next part, you're going to, similar to what you did before, you're going to slide from the sixth position to the fifth position, but you're going to go down to the third. 
back to the open original D chord, up to the first position, same strings, back to the open D, then you're going to play a power chord that's based on the A, D, and G strings. First position, third position, so here. Yeah. Or to add a bit of heaviness to it, you can actually bar that first finger on the low E and the A and still play the upper part, uh, upper notes of that power chord. Gives it more power, right? And that's right before the solo. Moving on to the riff under the solo. So for the next riff, this is in the key of A. Uh, this is underneath both Graham's solo, which is the first one, and then my solo, which is the second one. Uh, same riff, quite easy riff, uh, and adds a little bit of contrast to it. So it's an A. An a power chord open. Then you're going to go down to the G note, the third fret of the low E. Play that by itself. I'm going to play the F sharp, second fret, back to the G. Repeats. Then you're going to play the open D chord, which we learned earlier, first riff of the first chord of the song. And then you're going to play a C power chord, third fret, and then a G power chord, third fret position, third position. Okay, so when you do this, there's kind of this a little in, invisible sort of, you're not just going, you're, okay, and that's the, that's the uh, riff underneath the solos.